Do you want to see a true performance of skill? Watch this. Hui. Hui. And hui. <laughs> okay, crap, I failed. I failed with the camera there. Oh, anyways, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. This is episode 33 and I'm J times 2. Well, let's let's try that again. I want to succeed with that that jumping. Let's get the camera right. Okay, here we go. I go to do it this time. Wee! Wee! Oh crap! <laughs> Wait, one more time. I want to, I want to actually be able to do this. Um, let's let's see here. Okay. Yes, we are on the straight right path. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Bam! Bam! And one more, one more. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> Anyways, I. Welcome to this Let's Play series. Uh, I, I, well, I did the intro, did I? Yeah, I can. Uh, I'm riding on this really cool horse. Wait, let me get up the. There we go. So we can actually see something. So uh, this horse is ridiculous. It jumps more than five blocks. Uh, let's check for, to be exact how high it jumps. It jumps 5.25 blocks, and <laughs> I, the only thing I can say is that it's kind of ridiculous. And also amazing. Anyways, I've been doing a lot of stuff since the last time we were here at the farmlands area or whatever it's called. I have not named it as of yet. Uh, I placed down a few blocks of wheat, not too many, but uh, I placed down a few of them. I also added this uh, kind of track. It's supposed to be a uh, a wheel track uh, for this thing over here. Of course, it can't moving, but it's supposed to look like. Uh, like it can moving uh, for like three years ago I was in the United States and everywhere on the big fields they were like this kind of kind of automatic water systems that that had wheels and just you know um, travel the uh, you know drove drove through the fields and uh, dropping off water as they did so I kind of try to replicate that in Minecraft and well I'm not too happy with the result, but I I guess it's better than not having it, so I'm going to keep it. Anyways, the most things I've been doing um, since the last episode is that I have been testing out a lot of new horses, and uh, I got a few of them uh, them here. These are kind of special, so I kind of say them. I want to show them on camera. But first, if you're new to this series. Um, I kind of should explain a bit more. I, for like one a year, um, I kind of need to get that away so I can see anything, or <laughs> see anything, can see something. So uh, I kind of got a bit crazy with horses. So I built this whole um, this track so I could measure the speed, and I kind of put through a formula to compare horses with each other. So we can see here every horse has a total value, and I just kind of I combine value of all of all its other. Other attributes, so the speed, the jump, and the health kind of get mixed down into a total value. And I, I'm going to show you more about that in the last episode. I actually built a program in C to calculate for you, so you don't have to do the calculation calculations yourself because it's a kind of hefty formula. So, anyways, this is the horses we have. This horse is, of course, the one I'm using the most, Himalaya. Uh, she's the best horse of them all. Uh, seen to the total value. Here's the fastest horse we have uh, it's not that great overall it's decently I think it's just about average in jump and the health is kinda sucky and the speed is ridiculous it's so fast and uh, over here we have the one of the slowest horses it actually was the slowest horse I have found until today because today <laughs> I found this this dude uh, this guy is so slow, it's kind of ridiculous. 7.4 seconds to run 50 blocks, that's that's actually kind of slow. Also, his health is kind of cool because he's a 15 heart horse, which is the maximum a horse can have. Uh, anyways, um, the other horse I found was this guy. Uh, I kind of wanted to save him because of the speed. Uh, yeah. And this guy is kind of good. He's a, He has a good overall so I Kinda want to save him for that. Um, this horse is also a good, um, has good speed. I figured I'd save him because he has the same speed as this guy, but he has a better overall rating. So I c guess we kinda need 
don't need him anymore. And uh, I, this guy uh, is kind of bad, so I can't to save him because he has a really sucky overall. Uh, his speed is bad, his health is bad, and he, he jumps awful, so I figured I, I would want to show you that. Anyways, here we have another great horse uh, seen to the total value. And here we have the, of course, the bad, the bad runner. Anyways, uh, we have some other horses here that I have had for a while now. This was the horse we just used to jump so high. Uh, this is the next, the the next best horse after Himalaya. But I, I kind of don't like his attributes. Health is the one I don't like the most. So. Uh, I really like the speed and the jump. They, that's the thing I kind of kind of like. And uh, of course, this donkey isn't this good. Uh, this is the the Nether horse. Is the horse I have in the Nether is supposed to be in this place. Um, so that's why there's a donkey in there now because the Nether horse are of course in the Nether. So my plan for this episode is to uh, to uh, specialize some horses. You know, the horse I have in the Nether, as you can see, is not the fastest horse I have available so that's need to change because kind of the only thing I care about uh, f from a horse in the nether is that it that he, he is fast you kind of don't need a good jumping horse uh, for self-explanatory reasons and the health you know you don't going to take that much damage there so in the nether that is <laughs> in a tunnel is the only thing you're supposed to do is is run from place A to place B, so the only thing that really matters is speed. Oh, damn. Anyways, uh, I should show you the formula. So this is how I calculate horses. So I line myself up on the running track, I take leap of faith, and I run. <laughs> uh, I just press the W key down, and he has a speed of 4.3 seconds. The up there is the seconds, and this is the tenth of seconds. So now we have the speed. We press the button, and uh, then we have a jumping thing. <laughs> you can uh, accurately measure the horse uh, jump uh, with the snow blocks. As you can see, if we get up here, we can see the exact uh, C coordinate is the height, right? Yes, you can see that he jumps. And uh, as you can, because we are, we are on a horse, we have we are not standing on the ground exactly. So, anyways, you can measure this to be to be four point six two five blocks of height. So that's pretty impressive. And the health is <laughs> kind of easy to to calculate yourself. As you can see, there's fourteen hearts. And that makes uh, 28 hit points. Anyways, I will move on to the program I wrote in C, and I, I, I can show you how how to measure the total overall value. Okay, so here we have it: the GX2's horse evaluator. So an overall rating of your horse is calculated based on your horse abilities. And the value it will give you is a range between, and that is actually wrong. It's supposed to be zero from 0.125 and 3.375. So what you do is you enter the whole speed. Uh, Himalaya had a speed of 4.3 seconds. The horse health is uh, input in health points, which is 28. 14 times 2 is 28. The horse jump was 4. 625 so when you enter in that you get uh, three numbers here this is just how the thing is calculated uh, each value will give you a new value uh, between 0 0.5 and 1.5 and then uh, they uh, I just multiply them with each other which each other and then you get the overall rating which you can see is here 2.4 one nine eight three three so then you can try another horse if you want by pressing yes or well pressing y and uh, and then if you want to quit so you can do it all how many times you want so that's kind of much the program and when you do that with a lot of horses eventually you will find one that has a really great overall rating 
So this is just a nerdy program I wrote, and I can uh, I'm I I don't know what more to say. Anyways, I think I will head back into Minecraft and continue our horse episode. So now you know how I do it. Uh, <laughs> anyways, let's go back to the view. There we go. So. Uh, I, I, I think I will find a way to upload that program so you can run it for yourself if you want to compare horses as I do them. Uh, but I'm not sure because it, it is an executable file and uh, uh, uploading sites might complain on that format. But anyways, I will see what I'm going to be able to do. Anyways, the horses that I don't really want to uh, you know, give a sign and uh, remember the values of I can just put in these enclosements over here here I put the horses that are above average and there's quite a lot of them here and the horses that are not great but are kinda decent I put in this enclosement and the horses all the way over here wait for it wait for it there uh, or have have an overall rating of more than 1.5 units and I kinda only have three horses in here because the most of the good horses I kinda wrote a sign to be special <laughs> anyways so um, the first task uh, of this episode should be to uh, get a good running horse so uh, we should probably do something with breeding or we just use this horse straight up. This horse is a 3.7 seconds horse and uh, well breeding is kinda a bit weird in my, well I think it's weird but the system is as it is so uh, breeding horses with, will not necessarily give you better horses. It will kinda be a tedious process and it's kinda actually easier to just uh, test new horses uh, from that you find on fields instead of breeding so uh, I'm not sure if I can actually want to get into horse breeding so I actually I might just name this guy the nether runner or something I will think up a good name and find a a thing that you name name tags with anyways I will see you when I have a good name Okay, I know this is a bad nickname, but I thought about it for 10 minutes, I couldn't come up with anything good. And I kind of wanted to have a video game reference, but this will have to do. Ecus is a genus of horses, donkeys, and probably some zebras too, I think. And velocitus just being a word that I cannot try to make Latin, but... <laughs> okay, I really like biology, so shut up. That's... That's the sole reason for that name, and you know, he's going fast, so velocity kind of fits him, right? So I think we will name the the uh, high jump to K2 um, for you know the mountain. Before we actually name the horse, I thought it would be smart that we checked out the horses we have here, because there might be some good genes over here in this gene pool if we are going to continue on the biology theme <laughs> anyways uh, this is we are very long away from the horse testing area but uh, I kind of want to just tame a few of them and uh, kind of try them here and if I see something I think is a fast horse I will drag him through the nether to the actual testing area and then we can see how his speed actually is so um, come on little guy be tamed be tamed don't throw me off anyways uh, it takes uh, actually quite a lot of time to tame horses and uh, test them, so uh, we're just going to spend uh, maybe a couple of, uh, well, maybe 20 minutes over here and then see if we find something that is cool. Anyways, you don't want to be tamed, why? Fall in love with me. <laughs> okay, there's no, there's no love between us, apparently. I think I might found a keeper. I mean, just look at him go. He's so fast. I I don't want to predict what his speed is, but I can assure that it, this is going to be below four seconds. That I can guarantee. So, anyways, I will drag him through the nether, 
and uh, well let's test him out on the track and see how well he does oh man that was a close call <laughs> I forgot this portal is weird anyways it's alright it's, it's alright it's all good we can move on with our lives so here we are the moment we all have been waiting for we are going to start to run and then we are going to feel the force of the legs in this in this ecus in this horse no damn 3.8 dang i thought it, i thought this guy would be better than the, than the other guy but apparently he's worse <sighs> let's see how well he does jumping then if his speed isn't better can he be a f I, I don't think i even have jump once with this no he's not a four four block jumper is he a free block yes he's a free blocker so let's see he's a three and a half he's three and a half is he 3.75 okay that was a bad jump here we go no it's not a 3.75 is he a yes a 3.625 blocks height okay so he's kind of decent um well he's kind of good but he's not faster than the fast horse so uh, he he he's not good enough so give him back my diamond diamond gear and i don't really have any place for the gear anyways hmm so that's that i really thought we had a winner there but apparently we didn't anyways we might be able to breed a cool horse with um, with this guy and the and the actual 3.7 seconds horse anyways let's move on and do some more door and do some real works uh horse testing is tedious but it's not not that i guess it's not that um annoying to do so anyways i think i will start to add a pathway today well maybe not i actually should start i want a stream running from this lake down into this cave and it's probably better to start with that before we add the pathway so i will start to do we have yes we have the buckets so i think i will start to uh, start to dig out a a little stream of water here and see what we can do artistically with this area so i will start right now i guess well before we do that we actually could name our high jumper here here we go k2 welcome to the family of named horses <laughs> there's only two of them still but soon there will be three anyways i will start with the lake or not the lake the stream i think i did a decent job on this thing i'm not too happy with it though it looks so weird i kind of want it to look like it flows but it's hard to do <laughs> anyways we are on our fast steed and i think it's time to give him the name tag <laughs> and i said that very dramatically and slowly so let's place him in this holder and give him the name tag ecus velocitus boom there you go now you are named now and uh, well i think we should place him in the nether right away shall we so i will head over to the nether portal and place him there okay forget that i regret what i said i kind of don't want this horse to die <laughs> i don't want to push him into the nether you know if he dies we can't really do anything and he will be gone forever so instead i think i will use the the horse we found today i mean he's a tenth of a second slower on 50 blocks it's kind of long long stretch so i think he will he will do so i will get him and then i will place him in the in the nether so the eagle has landed now we just need to give him uh, some armor what should we give him not diamonds he's not worth that much he's not even our fastest horse so gold maybe 
Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice on you, and you like it, as it seems like. Or do horses do that when they're lucky, or when they're happy, or does they do that when they're angry? That's a question I can't answer. Anyways, uh, we're running low on time here, so I don't think we have enough time to do that path today. But uh, anyhow, I think we have time to do something more today, so I will uh, try to figure out something cool and fun to do, and then we can end the episode happy. Oh, I think I might have an idea on what we can do. One might not call this fun, but... Oh man, not this again. Okay, so the game is kind of glitching out on me today and yesterday. I think it's because I'm running out of memory. I have usually a lot of applications running at the same time. So maybe I need to shut down something. I will be right back. So the texture is back to normal, so let's try this again. And uh, I was trying to say that this might not count as fun or anything like that, but it are sure interesting. So on the Corin Tower video, I got a comment saying that the power pole... Oh damn, I actually should have brought that power pole to show you. Wait a minute, I will grab a power pole, I will be right back. You don't want to ask how long that took. <laughs> So I brought the power pole, I thought I had some at the Hobbit hole, but it turns out I didn't. So I had to go all the way to that industrial area, because that's the only place we have an anvil in this world. For some weird reason, I need to make more anvils. But anyways, I named a stick power pole, so uh, that this can work. So, oh wait, that's supposed to be there, I kinda got it to test something out. So now we should get a beacon going here. So uh, on the Korean Tower video I released for not that long ago, I got a comment telling me that the power pole is brown. Well, no, he, he said that the power pole was red. Uh, so we have red uh, glass to try here. But the thing is, uh, the power pole isn't re really this red. It's more like tree red. It's like uh, wooden red and there's no real uh, equivalent to that in in Minecraft so I think brown actually might fit better for this purpose so uh, if you if you place down the brown hmm how should we do it like that there we go so I think okay this doesn't really look that good but anyways, uh, so, so I thought, well, from that comment I got that it might be better to have a color that that look alike the stick. And yeah, that kind of looks like a stick, not really, but it looks better than the than the white beam because now you can actually fool yourself that it is a power pole you are seeing. Um, so. That's pretty interesting, I guess. So uh, I think that is all going to be all for this episode. We can eject the stick here as usual. And for some weird reason, these won't stack. And I can't understand why. Because it seems to have the exact same name. But it's impossible to stack them. I don't know why. But these you can stack, but you can't stack these. Can someone explain why? Because I have no freaking clue. Anyways, as I said, this is all going to be for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate comments. Uh, I would be really appreciating to see what you thought of this episode. And, uh, well, I can ramble on for a while now. So, well, so as I said, thank you for watching. Have a great evening. And uh, I see you in the next episode, hopefully. So, bye-bye. Uh,